Today we will learn how to change WordPress theme without losing content. After watching this video you will be able to transfer this website into this design without downing your website even only for a minute. And the serious matter is, it is totally free. You don't need to cost any money on it. It is the most secure way too. Just follow my steps carefully. So, this is the website I was running for a few days. Recently I realized that this design or theme is not perfect for my blog. I need more professional magazine or newspaper type themes. Then I found this awesome newspaper WordPress theme. This theme has a lot of pre-built designs which are perfect for newspaper, blog or magazine website. This is the design I want to be shifted. You can get this theme link in the description. It is very fine at this price. It is also purchased by more than 130k users. And the review is quite good. So, to change the WordPress theme without any deletion of content, we should not work in this domain. We will make a different place where we will migrate this design and start changing the theme. Let me show you how to do that. Go to cPanel. Log in. Search for subdomain. Now create a subdomain. You can choose a subdomain name as your wish. Then create. It's successful. Now we will install WordPress in this subdomain. Go to the Softaculous Apps Installer. Then install WordPress in this subdomain. Choose a username and password. Remember these credentials, we will need them after some time. Now click Install. WordPress installed successfully. It is working fine. Now, we will copy this exact design to the subdomain we just created. Let's start the process. Go to the both admin dashboard of the subdomain and our primary website. Install and activate WP Vivid Migration plugin on both websites. Go to the secondary website, and copy the key. And paste it into the auto-migration box of the primary website. Now click, Clone and Transfer. transfer succeed. Now go to the secondary website, under the backup and restore section, and click on the scan backup button. You will find the backup file. Click on restore. The process will be started immediately. Restoration done. It requires logging in. After logging in, check your website homepage. Yes, the design is successfully imported. 
Both of our websites are now same to same. Now we can work on this secondary domain without any risk. We will install the premium newspaper theme that we bought from ThemeForest. Go to Themes and click Add New. Upload the theme. Activate it. After activating, first, enable the required plugins. For this theme, it appears like this. Your chosen theme might have a different view. Now we will import a pre built design on this. You know, I chose this default design for my website. When you go to install or import a pre-built design, always enable contents. This will import the dummy content as well as your current website content. Install now. Installed successfully. Let's reload our subdomain. Look, the new design installed. See, there is some content or showing, that you don't need. On the other hand, you published these contents. Which are not showing here. So, what to do? It's simple. Click all posts on our secondary website. We will delete the unnecessary content. You can confirm your original content from the original website. You can bulk select the content. But here we have 135 pieces of content, but now per page, it is showing 20 content only. I set it to view 200 content per page so that I can delete it easily. Now, select all. And uncheck your original contents from this list. See. These are the original content. Unselect them one by one. Now, move to trash. Unnecessary contents are deleted. Now reload the page. See, your contents are visible here. Due to a lack of content and customization, some content is showing several times. After doing customization, it will be solved. For this premium theme, you can customize everything. Click on Edit from the top. Click on any place where you want to edit. I want to change the logo, so I clicked here. You are seeing an option to change it. Now I will select the original logo of the primary website. It changed instantly. I am saving it. My primary website logo and secondary website logo are same now. Edit the rest of the things as your wish on the secondary website. To this tutorial short, I am not making any changes. So, this website is ready. I will export this to my primary domain. Now go to the backup and restore option on both primary and secondary websites.
From the primary website, we will copy the migration key. And in the secondary website, paste this key in the auto migration box. Now click on the clone then transfer. Transfer succeed. Go to the receiver domain and click on scan uploaded backup. You will see this. Restore it now. Restoration complete. Relogin now. Let's check our website. Well, it worked. The contents, logo, and all the staff are working smoothly. No content has been broken. Our work is finished now. But one thing we must do after this process. Remember, we created a subdomain as a secondary website. It consumes your hosting storage. Smart work is uninstalling or removing this secondary website after work is done. Go to cPanel and follow my steps. You can click on WordPress Manager by Softaculous or Softaculous Apps Installer. Click Uninstall of your subdomain. Remove installation. The website is removed. If we reload this website, it is blank. You should also delete the subdomain from the cPanel. Search subdomain from here. and remove that. So, this is the video on how to change WordPress theme without losing content. If you still need any further assistance, you can contact me through email. If you liked this video helpful, then feel free to hit the like and subscribe button below.